Hello there and welcome. So I thought to make this video because I saw one question which was appearing very frequently and also I observed that it has a very good number of hits on the stack overflow and that question was what is the difference between constructor and ng on it in the angular lifecycle hook. So we will understand what is the difference between them and uh, the purpose is to know what what is the what is what the constructor does and what ng on it does and when we have to prefer the one over another what are those uh, situations so we will understand that and i don't have much of the coding but still i will take you to my vs code and i will show you implementing that for what purpose we do and we'll write some code there so with that let's get rolled in so for understanding it much easier i have created this table where i put the points for constructor and for ng on in it so let's start with it the constructor is a default method of the class that is executed when the class is instantiated. So in many languages, we have the constructor like we have it in the Java, we have it in the CPP where the constructor name is usually the class name. So similarly, it applies to Angular since Angular is written in the TypeScript. TypeScript have that concept of constructor and this is coming with the TypeScript. While your ng on it is a lifecycle hook which is called by Angular and it indicates that Angular is done creating the component. Okay, before that, first thing I want to say that the Angular provides this ng on in it it is not a feature of your typescript it comes with your angular framework and the second thing that whenever the flow is handed over to ng on it that means the angular is done with initializing that component and now you're ready to process it. constructor ensures proper initialization of fields class member in the class and the subclasses so yeah this is the common purpose for the constructor we usually put the initialization code there assigning the values we can have parameterized constructor and we can do stuff there uh, in ng on init, in order to use on init, we have to import it in the component class like below. So we need to import the on init interface from the Angular core and then we'll be able to use it. I want to show you in my code that as you can see in my heroes component, I have the uh, constructor here and I have my ng on in it. And for using this ng on in it, I have implemented this interface on my class. If I remove this, then you can see that ng on it is not recognizable here so it is coming from the on in it and if i just quickly peek in the on in it i can see that it is saying that uh, on in it is a life cycle hook that is called after angular has initialized all data bound properties of a directive the good thing and the interesting thing to notice here that they put that they have put here that when the angular is done with uh, all data bound properties of a directive they are not mentioning a component so it is applicable to the directive and the components are kind of an I would say not a subset, but they have the similar kind of an uh, property, similar kind of a behavior with the directive. So the thing to know here that you can also have on it in your directive as well. So yeah, so that was for the uh, constructor and ng on it. It comes from the uh, on init interface. Uh, as we know that when we create a new instance of the class, that times the constructor get invoked. Actually implementing the on init in every component is not mandatory, but consider a good practice. So this is a good point. If you uh, remove the ng on it, it won't complain that because it is not necessary that you need to have an on init. But if you are implementing an on init, you need to have that. So if you don't have to put the ng on it hook in your component, simply don't implement it. So as I can show you that, see, this is a good example where I have an app component and I have not implemented uh, ng on it interface sorry on it interface here and i don't have ng on it method. angular dependency injector analyze the constructor parameter so we should use the constructor to set up a dependency injection initialization of the class fields where the ng on it is a better place to write the actual work code that we need to execute as soon as the class is instantiated now what they are saying here that the constructor again is a good place to have the initialization code now i want to uh, elaborate that what uh, this point is saying about the dependency injector and the services so for that uh, i want to quickly create one service i will open my terminal and uh, i want to to show you how dependency injector initialization is done in the constructor i want to create a simple service so i am creating a service namely heroes and as usual i don't need the test cases so i have my service created here as i can see and i will quickly put one simple method which is get heroes and uh, there i want to return and the all heroes so that it will be accessible to my uh, heroes list component and i need this data so what i'm doing here i'm putting my all heroes uh, data into my constructor so 
as we just learned that in the constructor I can put the initialization uh, initialization code so I think it's absolutely fine one thing I want to show here that I use this extension namely prettier so whenever I see that my, my code is little messier so I can format it if and it's really easy as you can see uh, you can install that from the extension the name is prettier and it is very handy I feel okay so coming back so uh, I have a get heroes and in my heroes list component I want to call my get heroes in my ng on it and want to assign that to my all heroes in my heroes list so uh, this dot all heroes I will say that and before that I need to create an instance of service now this is the dependency injection part and as we was uh, going through this difference it says that angular dependency injector analyze the constructor parameter so we should use a constructor to set up the dependency injection so that's what we are doing here in the constructor I am creating an instance of my hero service and it will be hero service type then I can use it here that this dot hero service dot get heroes and it will be assigned to my all heroes and uh, yeah this is what the purpose of constructor is good if we have to do an initialization of the uh, objects where we are we have the dependency injected so this is a service and we have just created the uh, like the reference for that service and we are using it so this is a good place for the constructor and in the on init I have my code here so now if I have to do some transformation that also I can do it here in the ng on init and it is preferred over the constructor suppose I have a case where I want to before showing the all heroes I want to uh, do some modification in the data perform some uh, uh, maybe some transformation if it is a string if I want to parse it or change the case of it if I have that kind of a scenario it is preferred that I put that code in the ng on it and not in the constructor so I'll go to my browser and see if it is same and uh, my application I can say it is working the similar way that it was working previously when I put that uh, all heroes data into an heroes list but now this data is coming from my hero service so I can see that it's working properly now the unit testing can be very easy if the constructor logic is simple so when we write the unit test case at that time we have to perform the automatic unit test cases and to create the instance of a particular class we invoke the constructor so it is good that we don't we it is good that we don't have much code which is unnecessary in the constructor not required it is simply the purpose of constructor should be to create an instance and hand it over now in the ng on it if we have to fetch the data from database from the back end if we have to communicate with the API if there is an uh, observer from which we need to subscribe a data we put that in the ng on in it not everything in the component is initialized at the time of invocation everything is ready at the time of invocation so this is good point and I want to show that in the constructor we don't have access to the all data as you can see in the heroes component that from my heroes list I'm passing the uh, data to my child component through property directive which is hero here and then I am getting that in my heroes component and I have a simple line here that if I try to access that heroes uh, that hero data which is passed from the parrot component in the constructor what I get and if I try to access the same in the ng on it I want to show what we will get in that case so let me go to my app open the inspect tool and uh, in the console let me clear this and uh, clear the heroes I will probably reload this and the add hero so you can see that I have in my constructor it is invoked but data is undefined and when my control is in ng on it the data is actual data that is passed from my parent component so this is a difference that if you try to access the data which is passed through the input uh, decorator you don't have access to constructor is transformed to a function with the same name as class created and ng on it function being added as a prototype of the class created so this is actually deals with the javascript uh, if you don't know that the typescript the angular code is transpiled into a javascript and at the end it is everything that the javascript runs into your browser so the constructor basically it is transformed to a javascript constructor from the typescript constructor it is simply transformed into a javascript constructor and it will have the name same as the class created but ng on it it is uh, after compilation it is created as a custom method and it is assigned to a prototype now coming to the conclusion so it is good practice that we put the initialization of the class member so if we have some data in our angular component we where we are assigning the values so it, it is good that we put in the constructor of course the dependency injection we always put that in the constructor but there can be a cases we are already there also you need to uh, think about how you are passing the data between components if you have the uh, data coming from the components if you are doing that through the input output decorator then you might not be able to access that in the constructor so you need to go with the ng on in it there so that's all for this video and I hope you may find this helpful. Thank you.